So today I'm gonna have a little more fun with my five channel cup, chambers, channels, whatever you wanna call them. So I'm going to be using Liquitex Basics Thalo Blue, Cadmium Yellow Light Hue, uh, Artist Loft Vermilion, which has some of the Cadmium Light Hue mixed in. Uh, Quinacridone Magenta. And I have Thalo Green, which has been mixed with a little bit of Titanium White. This does dry very dark, so I wanted it to brighten it up just a bit. And then I have the straight Liquitex Basics Titanium White for my background. These have been mixed. One part paint, two parts Floetrol, and I have added a bit of uh, Liquitex pouring medium, which I just put in a little squirt bottle because it's easier than dealing with the gallon bucket. I, I'm trying to avoid cells. I always seem to get them no matter what, but sometimes it seems to help if I add a different pouring medium along with the uh, flow trough. Ooh, a little bump there, all right. Okay, so how I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna put the cool colors on one side and the warm colors on the other. I will put the yellow in the middle. So let's put some paint in a cup, shall we? There we go. We'll do it this way. The consistency of these paints. I have it so that uh, it forms a mound and then it disappears. Not too thin, but not too thick. Now for our base coat. This is a 16 by 20 canvas. That would require about 12 ounces of paint. Okay, let's see what happens if I can pull this off. Well, kind of messed that up a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna have some more fun.
right, let's move this around a bit. Try to make something aesthetically pleasing out of this. This may just wind up becoming a background for something. All right, well, uh, this isn't coming out exactly as planned. Uh, I'm gonna wash my hands and see what I can do. Okay, so as is, this is not looking like anything special to me. So, let's see what I can do with a wee bit of torching. If I can make anything exciting happen. nothing exciting happening. Let's see what happens, shall we? Okay, I'm going to spray this. This is the uh, Rain-X Original. It's important. They're not all the same. Spray this from up high and see what happens. Look at that, one spray, holy cow. Well, that is certainly more interesting than it was, is it not? I'm gonna see if I can just thin this out just a bit, maybe get something happening there. Okay, so I just don't love what's going on here. I still need an area of focus. So let's try this. Lots of techniques going on today. Whatever it takes to get it somewhere beautiful.
Okay, what I just did here was I took some of the runoff uh, and added some color back in there because I had basically taken that top layer off and just left myself with base coat. But I may have overworked this a little. Maybe. Uh, but overall, wasn't at all what I was expecting to, uh, to wind up with. But it's interesting, if nothing else. Some of these look very much like feathers. So I dig on that. Anywho, uh, I will bring you in for a close up. Okay, here it is. There are some aspects that I do like about this. I like all of the lacing that occurred due to that one spray of Rain-X. That is insanity that that one spray covered the entire 16 by 20 canvas. Some interesting things going on. It's, you can see part of it's dry, part of it's wet. I did add some uh, balloon rolls going uh, east and west there. It was bugging me. And I thought that I had uh, clicked record, but all I did was take a picture. So, sorry I missed that. It's what happens when I'm trying to do too many things at once. But there it is. Well, I hope you learned something. Never give up, never surrender. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so please check out the description box below for links to my PayPal tip jar if you feel so inclined. If these videos are helpful or entertaining, uh, it's a great way to keep me stocked up in supplies and bringing you the groovy fresh content. And also my Amazon store most of the items that I use can be found in the Amazon store. But also, if you enter through that link that I provide in the description box, anything that you purchase off the entire site of Amazon, I receive a small commission of at no additional cost to you. And also in the description box is a link to our Facebook group, go make some art, join us there, post your masterpieces, ask your questions, get some inspiration. And last but not least, my website, GinaDeLuca.net, pop on over there. That's where you can buy my art and my music, including my brand new CD, Better Than Chocolate. And if you haven't seen the video for Better Than Chocolate, it's just a couple back from this one, too, I think. Worth checking out. Made me laugh. <laughs> anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you have a beautiful day. Now go make some art.